God said he will make a great nation out of Ishmael. Yeah. How could how could the Arabs become a great nation without Muhammad? So follow the reasoning, guys, because once you've got it, you've got it here. Sam, isn't it true? Isn't it true that God says he's going to make Ishmael a great nation? 100%. Okay. Genesis 17, 19 to 21. Okay, so uh, apparently this only applies to the Arabs. And how could the Arabs have become a great nation without without Muhammad? In what other way are Arabs yeah. a great nation without Muhammad? This is the clear proof. Okay, now here's my question for CP. I'll get into the Bible in a minute. CP, can can you show me? And I know you know you're just you're not the Muslim here. Is there any verse in the Quran, any verse in the Quran that says Muhammad is the son of Abraham or a son of Ishmael? Is there a verse that says that? Nowhere. Secondly. Let me let me add comment, please. Please, no, go ahead. So, who but said, repeat what who, you said. Repeat said that again. That, who said that the Arab from Ishmael? This yeah. is number one. Where in the Bible it says the Arab from Ishmael? That's false. Even in the books of Muslims, it says, and if you have my book, The Session of Allah, you will find that the Arab they agree, the Muslims agree that Muhammad, according to the Muslims, that Ishmael he did marry from an Arab woman, and he learned Arabic from the Arab at the age of thirteen. So how somebody learn Arabic from the Arab, he is the father of the Arab. That will be the most stupid thing. Mm -hmm. Same time, the Quran says, وَدْعُوهُمْ بِآبَائِهِمْ Which means, uh, uh, call them by the name of their father. So how, uh, uh, how the Muslim, they say, that he marry a woman, she is not from his people, and that made him the father of the Arab. If she is an Arab, then his children should not be Arab. As an example, as, as Sam, correct me if I'm wrong, or David. Did Musa marry from a Bedouin woman in the desert? Hmm. No. What? Yeah, what I'm mean? sorry, I apologize because my geography. Freya, he married uh, Zipporah. Zipporah. All right. And now, is, name, is, by the is way. the children of Musa are, uh, ha, ha, are Jews? They are considered to belong to Musa yeah. or they belong to that woman? No, you're yeah, exactly. The, the, that doesn't mean Moses is the father of the Arabs because he married someone from uh, from the desert. Yeah, exactly. that's a false, that's a false, uh, a false argument when they say that. Yes, yes. On top of that, the Arab, if they are, if the, if the prophecy about the Arab, so why the Arab are miserable? I am an Arab. Yeah. We are the most miserable nation in the whole world, yeah. and we are not a great nation. All our population is not even thirty millions. What? The Egyptians are not Arab. The Iraqi are not Arab. Where is the Arab? And you know, if population is is going to make them agree, that's that's stupid. At the same time, we have nothing to be proud about. Where is the Arab? There's no Arab. The the majority of the Muslims are non-Arab. The Muslim, the Arab are not even five to seven percent of the total population. And if you see what the Arab now, the only thing we can say the Arab are great about is having oil. If that will make us a great, like now uh, Saudi Arabia is is meeting in the G20. The great Saudi Arabia, is it a great? No, it's not. 80% of population of Saudi Arabia do not know how to write, how to read. So the prophecy cannot be about the Arab because the Arab until now never was and they will never be great for very simple reason. Islam destroy everything we have. Exactly. Yeah. And I just want to add something. When you said Bedouin, I was thinking Saudi Arabian. But yes, you're right. Zipporah, Median, they were in the desert. Now, I just want to add the biblical response. You heard what CP said. There were Arabs before Ishmael, even in Islamic tradition, Ishmael married an Arabic woman from the tribe of Jurham, actually two of them. But for those of you who want biblical refutation to this argument, what made Ishmael great? Not Islam. The prophecy was fulfilled in the lifetime of Ishmael. But I want to make this clear. Guys, for those of you taking notes, here's the biblical response to this distortion of this prophecy of the Bible. Genesis 21 verse 21 says that Ishmael's Egyptian mother, Hagar, she's Egyptian, went to Egypt and got him a wife from Egypt. So he didn't marry an Arabian woman from Mecca. Genesis 21, 21. That's the first refutation. The second refutation, because it's a biblical prophecy, it needs to be understood in the context of the Bible. You quoted Genesis. Let Genesis explain it. Here's the prophecy. Pay attention to what the Muslims don't tell you. This is the prophecy. Genesis 17, 19 to 21. Then God said, when Abraham said, Oh, that Ishmael would live before your sight. God said, no, but your wife Sarah will bear you a son, Genesis 17, 19 and 21, and you will call his name Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him, Isaac, as an everlasting covenant, and with his descendants after him, and now the promise for Ishmael. And as for Ishmael, I have heard you. 
I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and multiply him exceedingly. He will be the father of 12 princes and I will make him a great nation. So right there it tells you the blessing for Ishmael did not include the covenant. It's right there. The covenant I make is with Isaac and his seed, not with Ishmael. I'll bless Ishmael to become a great nation in that he will have 12 sons, will be rulers, and so have numerous descendants. Now let me read 21. But I will establish my covenant with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear to you at this set time next year. So it's self-explanatory. He'll have numerous descendants, great in terms of numbers. Now, was that fulfilled in the time of Ishmael, or did we have to wait for Muhammad? What was the, the, the blessing? Twelve rulers making a great nation. Notice 12. Genesis 25, 12 to 18. Here's the fulfillment. Genesis 25, 12 to 18. These are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, see it's even emphasizing he's Egyptian from his mother's side, Hebrew from his father's side. Sarah's maidservant, which even the Hadith says she was the maidservant of Sarah, bore to Abraham. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael by their names. Count, folks. According to the generations, the firstborn, Ishmael, uh, I'm sorry, of Ishmael, Nebawith, then Kidar, right, that's two, Adbil, Mipsam, Mishma, I gotta get to the camera, Duma, hold on, the camera, Duma, Masa, <clears throat> Hadad, Tima, Jatur, Ten, Nafish, and Kidama, twelve sons. These were the sons of Ishmael, and these were their names by their towns and their settlements. Twelve princes, according to their peoples. These were the years of the life of Ishmael, 137 years old. He breathed his last and died. And he was gathered to his people. They lived from Havilah as far as Shur, which is east of Egypt. As you go toward Assyria, he died in presence of all his relatives. Twelve rulers, twelve sons, great nation. But notice where they did not live. They didn't live in Mecca and Medina. It says they live from Havila as far as Shur, east of Egypt, toward Assyria, which would be in Iraq. He died in the presence of his relatives. Please stop distorting the Bible. It does not support Muhammad. Even why the Quran did not say, I will make prophets from Ishmael. Yeah, no. Look what the Quran says. If you go to chapter 29, verse 27, maybe Sam, he can read it. What? Chapter 29, verse 27, it says it clearly yep. that Allah gave Abraham two children, Isaac and Jacob. Do you find it, uh, Sam? Yep, here, let me get it for you. 29, 27, you said, right? Yeah. And we bestowed on him, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and we established the prophethood and the scripture among his seed, and we gave him his reward in the world, and lo, and the hereafter, he verily is among the righteous. Which, which seed he mentioned? He Isaac, mentioned and Isaac and Jacob, not Ishmael. So where is Ishmael, and why, why he did not, I mean, how you drop the, the elder in the family, you drop him down, you know? You should mention, we gave him, Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and then we gave from his seed the prophethood if this is accurate and to confirm your point 45 16 CP that the prophet was established among Isaac and Jacob seed Israel 45 16 to confirm what you said so they don't say you're twisting it 45 16 and verily we gave the children of Israel the scripture the command and the prophethood and provided them with good things and favored them above all people so not only were they given the prophethood? They were favored above all people. Why not the Ishmaelites, CP? Yeah, that's uh, that. And at the same time, as I said, the Ishmael have nothing to do with Muhammad. But as always, Muhammad he, and the Muslims are looking for honor. When you have a bankruptcy, you try to attach yourself. How the, how the Jews are evil, and then they say Muhammad like Moses.